name is Muhammad Tal. Uh, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Um, yeah. Oh, snap, that's my man. Such a beat. Sonic, bro. What's up? Uh, yeah, so it was a long car ride here. I'm a little tired, so I'm trying to get lit a little bit. So I've been working on a manuscript, and it's kind of like a, a, a rough draft of a book or whatever. And um, so I wanted to share a few pieces in between my performance pieces. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, cool. She found growth in sunlight. I found growth in rain. A soul's photosynthesis, a plant's dream. To love its roots though they can't be seen. To grow old with the earth and find solace in her shade. May her sunlight be my treasure and my rain be her pleasure. May we grow. End poem. Yeah. All right, so um, interesting, interestingly enough, he was talking about social justice. I actually work for a nonprofit organization in Baltimore uh, known as Do More Baltimore, which focuses on social or civic engagement through art. Um, so the art form we use is poetry. Uh, so we did like a poetry tour throughout the city um, during my senior year in high school. And this poem was inspired by the youth, of ba the youth of Baltimore. And in this poem, I use the word king a lot. But when I speak about the king, I'm not talking about like the patriarchal figure. I'm actually speaking about the youth. Um, yeah, so. Don't you know they're praying on your downfall, king? Don't you know that Moses is coming for you, king? Don't you know that I've seen magicians turn servants, staffs turn serpents, pharaohs go preserved and prophets go unheard, king? So tell me, what's the word, king? Because I've seen man take golden calf for God, and I've seen God rain terror on man for forgetting who God is, king? And God is king. I've seen hollow hearts search for peace on empty prayer rugs. So I suggest you, 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 and you go find one. Because soon, everybody will want a piece of you until there ain't no peace in you, and then they end up piecing you. King, look what they did to Martin Luther. King, they will tell you we love you, then Mandela, your spirit, rip you off your heart, but you have Winnie for backbone, you have Betty for backbone, you have Coretta for backbone, so stand strong, king. Because they will try to apartheid your apostle, claim you as their equal, yet view you as hostile, they will shoot you on sight. King, any sight, ting of your black frame will be frightening, this is why the cage bird still sings. King, but you? You ain't cage birds, you, you more like albatross king. They, they keep trying to shoot you down king. And when they shoot you down king, they wear you around their necks king. These mariners ain't got no respect king. They make crown from thorns until you rule your kingdom because they think the king's dumb. That's why I teach my sons, get it king? Get it? You get it? Cause if you don't, they will guillotine your manhood, separate you from your mans and your hood, but your hood is kingdom come. Tell them people that the kingdom come, and I plan on raising my seeds, planting ghetto prophets, proposing prophecies, and rewriting policy, teaching future kings to love their struggle. But you, you oak tree to the rest of these saps. You, you the leaf king. I see in your eyes you want to leave king, but don't forget who you leaving king. Don't forget the horror. Tell our story like you Stephen King. Stop letting them appropriate our life here. Stop letting them, stop letting them appropriate our life here. Stop letting them recreate our nightmares. Somebody tell Iggy the Jigaboo Snow Bunny, it ain't funny. Cause I got homies on deathbeds on their last leg trying to remember when enough is enough. Now Blondie trying to play tough but ain't utter a word. When Tamir Rice lost his wings in the streets. You see everybody wanna act black until another black body is left laying in the streets. But acting black and being black are two different things but I see it in your eyes. You just wanna be King, and for that, I'll stand beside you and born. Yeah. 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 I actually have a question. You know, it's my name, uh, Martin Trimble. That's my old soccer, uh, soccer coach. No way. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's dope. <laughs> For real. Without, all right. without you get uh, extension. Oh, all right. Bet, bet. Do you know how to do it? Oh, no, it's cool. I thought it was wrong. All right. Um. Yeah. So, uh, one time, like, like, it was like maybe two years ago. So I've been doing poetry for like forever, but like professionally, I've been doing it for like going on four years. Um, since I moved to Baltimore, and somebody in VA, I'm not gonna say who, but they hit me up. It was like a Muslim community or whatever. They hit me up. They were like, um, we want you to come out. We want you to perform, but we have a question. Do you do Muslim pieces? And. <laughs> And I looked, I said, I am the Muslim in my pieces, like, because a lot of my poems, <laughs> for real. Because a, a lot of my poems, like, are centered around social justice issues, but uh, predominantly, like, black issues, for real. So, like, sometimes they don't want you to come. Like, I said, black lives matter. Your brother was like, stuff for the law. All lives matter, brother. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, bro, get out of here, bro. Uh, so, like I said, I'm from Baltimore. Oh, well, I'm really from West Africa. Any West Africans here? Hey, uh, madam, how are you? Uh, we are here. We are here. <laughs> if you have some jollof, let me know. We'll, we'll, we'll after. <laughs> but, um, but uh, yeah, so I um, immigrated here in 2001, a few months before 9-11. And um, I grew up in PG County and D.C. Uh, so I wrote this poem, like, after I went back to D.C., after moving to Baltimore. And like everything changed. Like there were like white people running outside at midnight. I was like, oh my God, this is <laughs> this is not what I remember. Uh, so yeah, I wrote this poem. It's called Not So Chocolate City. <laughs> I didn't even start the poem. Damn. I hate being showered by white tears. Hold on, is this a safe space? <laughs> all right. It's a safe space so I can say, all right, but, all right. Remember, I, I have artistic expression, I'm a poet. But, mm. I hate being showered by white tears. I'm more of a tough man trying to free my niggas. Sorry, Master P. But tell little Romeo, I see DC and that collage is getting whitewashed. It's starting to look like white marsh. I was on Georgia Avenue watching them whites march. Boy, I tell you, them whites smart. They took off their hoods to take our hoods. Ronald Reagan's post-racial America coming from vacation. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Back at it again with the gentrification, cultural appropriation, and colonization. But that's how it works, right? They tear apart our social fabric by materializing what we created when we didn't have it. We put salt on food, and white people called it magic. Now they put mumbo sauce on their beef stroganoff, trying to build froyos in the go-go as the nation's capital, makes capital off rebuilding this capital on the backs this country continuously capsizes, where the fitted caps lean sideways, and the phone posits bring a new balance. But even C era sees errors in our era. The future of the city ain't cherry blossom pretty, Black culture will be but a distant cousin by the time we wake and the U-Hauls leave and you all leave and the whites move in. The city's starting to look like a Klan rally. They, instead of burning crosses, they're burning bridges, colonizing foreclosures and calling them projects, forcing us to the projects. Don't you get it? Home improvement signifies black exclusion. These gentrifiers are for profit, anti-black profits, modern day crusades. Yeah, we used to say, been lying, been plotting. The graph suggests that these white families are ordered pairs, pinpointed to replace our fathers in pinstripes, victims of circumstance, victims of Clinton's hands. Bills, bills, built prisons, and affected how we live in. Mass incarceration is just another form of black deportation. We are rooted in the hood. They pulling us out, deforestation. Now the liberals that move in say they want to liberate us. So we avoid gentrifiers like they handing out flyers. Startled at the thought that they still wish to take what little I don't have. What little I don't have is the meaning of this poem. You see, I tried to use metaphors and similes as a means of reversing gentrification while inadvertently gentrifying my own statements. 
placing my stanzas in row homes. I colonized my town of thoughts, co-opting my own cooperation. My pen became a big corporation, incorporating these poems in search of payment, rejecting what I know is not my poems like the Sphinx. Aliens did it, my poem turned bigot, trying to take credit for being original, but the poet is a cynic refurbishing every sentence. Maybe less black and rap, maybe more calm with snaps, maybe it's Kama Sutra. Looking in the mirror like this karma suits you. Dressing these words in button poetry is getting played out. Like the black souls that were once by to own. You reap what you sow and you eat what you own. This is the thanks we get for taking America as our own. This is the poem we get for taking America as our home. Thank you. Um, so the last piece um, I'm going to perform for you guys is titled Do the Right Thing. Um, I wrote it in, at the end of 2014, beginning of 2015. Uh, I wrote it as a response to the killing of Michael Brown, um, who died on August 9th, 2014, which was four days before my 17th birthday. And for those four days, I lived in fear that I wouldn't reach my 17th birthday. And for the months, the subsequent months that followed, I wasn't able to write. Um, so after that, I saw the movie Do the Right Thing. If you haven't seen it after this poem, please go watch that movie. <laughs> the, the edited version. Yeah, Spike Lee, it's 1989. Um, and this poem is a response to not only his killing, but the killing of innocent black men, women, children, trans um, people all over America. I've been drinking this, water, this bottle of water for like 10 years. I got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me, got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me, got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me. The devil heard I got a message, so he's trying to disconnect me. The mayor said, do the right thing, doc. So here I am trying to heal the hood. I brought some cameras and my consciousness, a script challenging politics. Didn't need to practice, man, I swear that I was Iverson. Bedford Stuyvesant lives within him. Cops poison the streets with venom, counter act like penicillin, you see? This penicillin belief? He had a vision, the heat was cataclysmic, metaphoric of the violent nature, cops creating the streets. Let's take it back to Howard Beach, Southern Queens, 1986 to this day, it still makes me sick. When black man killed, they hit him with a car, he who did his dad was a cop. So the charges got dropped, robbed him of his right to live. Kill a Negro, be a hero, brother, that's just how it is. Rest in peace to Michael Griffith. But the struggle goes on, Pete. My boy Raheem, we nicknamed him Radio. His boombox was a blessing. Played his message through a stereo to our hood. An angel amplified through God's plans. I swear to God he was God's right hand symbolizing a black man with a message. Love and hate. Wherever one is, you're sure to find another. Just like Cain and Abel, one inclined to kill the other. Yin and Yang on both hands, a combo in effect. He could embrace you with a fist or treat you with respect. Two slices of pizza, and I want extra cheese. Big salad, GOP, it makes no difference to me. Suffering false hope in our hearts and pizza. Pizza down our throats, taking money out the ghetto. Us commoners shouldn't meddle with the status quo. Oh, hell no. We want some brothers on the wall. You come to our neighborhoods. We eat here, and we can't get any brothers on the wall? It seems like South Pizzeria is the house of representatives with a lack of care and cold stairs. They invaded us with no fear. There's no fear in the art of war. So when I pick up my gun to protect my son, don't look at me like I'm crazy. Because I told you. I got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me. Got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me, got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me. The devil heard I got a message, so he's trying to disconnect me. Now, history repeats itself and that's just how it goes. 
Same way that these cops always take my brother's souls. Same thing Darren Wilson did to Mike Brown, yeah, we know. Trayvon Martin ever gone to Amadou Diallo. While silly white kids argue over who doesn't see color. Look around, Billy, man, they killing all my brothers. They justify our death saying that we kill each other. Sit around, enjoy your privilege while I console my mother. No plan. My, life, my life's no joke, and that's true-ish. Same rope they hung us on, we tie our shoes with. But not today, I pray no grace be paid because I came to bring the change. We ain't stupid. So when I pick up my gun, to protect my son, don't look at me like I'm crazy. Because I told you. I got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me, got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me, got a target on my body, somebody. Anybody? Please protect me.